This episode is sponsored by the Cavity King. Come on down, we get you fixed up good. Jeff over at Tau Flader Mouse actually suggested Jolly Ranchers as a medium for me, and we're gonna give it a shot. So we went out and bought a pack. And I'm just gonna separate it into colors. Uh, and I'm not the first to try this, is you can melt them down, and um, they take candy, and they make the candy into different shapes. But that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to use it as an actual medium for making something completely ridiculous. I tried this out last night to make sure that these actually melted and could be poured, and uh, made a little unicorn. So I'll put him into the pile. Bye, little unicorn! You can't melt a magical creature! Uh, yeah, we totally gotta do that and into the shop oven at 350 degrees. So while those are cooking away, um, I say we get on to making our mold. Got our mold, and if it holds up to the temperature, we should do pretty well. A little nervous. I'd say the red's not quite melted yet. Uh, they're just kind of all melting together. I'm not making distinct layers, which is more what I was hoping for. This is not exactly the beautiful project I'd envisioned thus far. I can tell you that much. Melting them in this is not a good plan. It doesn't melt as quickly as these do. Um, I think the concept is still alive. Uh, and I think if we refine the process, we'll be better off. So I'm going to head out to the store and buy some more candies. So I know those of you who loves, love love um, some data here, this is kind of interesting. Here's the, the pile of um, purple, here's the pile of green, there's the blues, which I guess are super rare, there's only two or three in each bag, and this is red. Now red is two flavors, it's cherry and watermelon, but it does seem a little disproportionate to um, raspberry or grape. Oh my gosh, my hands are burning. I have got, for the record, I am wearing welding gloves. It wasn't quite melted all the way. Got a bit of a gob. The mold was starting to fail, but um, got some rubber bands around it and everything seems to be okay. So we are, uh, what, three quarters of the way done at least. Oh, we finally got the right timing on the very last one. Alright, I'm going to let this thing cool overnight. And tomorrow we will see if it survives the lathe. Okay, that is a giant Jolly Rancher block. I mean, that is just crazy looking.
really? Oh my gosh, what a mess. Oh, here's some more. <laughs> oh, that green apple smells amazing. <laughs> Um, this drill bit seen better days. I don't know. I'm just going to leave that. Maybe we can get somebody else to clean that up. Mm. Well, I hope that's not a sign of things to come. It was getting really brittle while um, cutting it. Okay, and as you can probably see, we've got it mounted on my chuck jaws with my tailstock up. I'm a little worried that this is just gonna explode on me. Well, let's see what happens. Doc, I think I've got a sugar rash. I broke out in hard candy hives. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, alrighty then. I'm just gonna put that right there. While I was washing my hands, it occurred to me I could do the same thing with my vase. I mean, why sand a thing if it's water soluble? A little warm water. I think it'll clean up real nice. It's looking pretty cool. You got a pretty cool casting. So all I'm going to do is just invert it um, and let it let it dry a little bit. All right, and I've already got a couple layers of lacquer on it. And we're just going to add, I don't know, two or three more. From candy to candle holder. So it's completely sealed in lacquer, uh, so there's no exposed candy. And I, I think it should hold up decent. I mean, it is Jolly Rancher, which is what makes it cool. I ended up finishing off this other one as well. And it doesn't look fantastic, but it's still really cool. And I'm glad that it didn't go to waste. I like the way the red and the green mix the best. It's a great pattern. And if you're worried about longevity, I will say that I've done this once before. I made a ring out of Jawbreaker and that was well over a year ago now and it is it is holding up fantastically well and if you don't want to use a real candle in here you can always use one of those LEDs and that will really cut down on the heat as well I'm going to try it with the candle it's got a two inch hole so I don't think it should be a big deal <sighs> one last thing I'm actually going to be down in Torrance California for a meetup on October 22nd that's Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Rockler store. So if you're down in Torrance, um, stop by, say hello. I'd love to have an awkward selfie with you. I'll even bring a few things so we can do show and tell if we like. So thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.